Hello guys, this is Rena Saida with another bonus video offered with our online course Sensuality in Baladi, available at my school, Joana Saida's Online Dance School. This video is offered with our class number six, and it's about freedom and the connection between freedom, sensuality, and Egyptian dance. Let me start by saying that freedom is not only related with sensuality, but it's related to the core of Egyptian dance as I know it. Freedom uh, in what sense? First of all, freedom to be oneself when we dance. Instead of following what everybody else is doing, instead of copying our teachers, our inspirations, the dances that we love, we are free enough, daring enough to be ourselves, to listen to the music in our own way, to react to the music in our own way, to express the music and what the music awakens in us in our own way. So the first aspect of freedom has to be with being oneself. And being oneself is very sensual. So there is here a very clear connection between the freedom to be oneself and sensuality. Freedom also to um, enjoy, to feel pleasure, to have um, all the sensations that Egyptian dance provides, physical sensations, emotional, um, mental, spiritual sensations, everything, all these experience, multi-layered, multi-dimensional experience that Egyptian dance provides, and being able to jump into those multi-layered, multi-dimensional uh, experiences and pleasures and senses and, and um, even lessons uh, without holding back, without being afraid of what others will think of us, without being afraid of enjoying too much. This is a problem for most uh, women, not only in Egyptian dance, in their lives. You know, we've been raised to be good girls. That means you cannot enjoy yourself too much. You cannot claim pleasure for yourself too much because what will people think about you? you know? So there is in the back of our mind and most of women that I've known around the world, there is this guilt, shame association with self-pleasure. If I'm enjoying myself while I'm dancing, I somehow establish a limit. Like I cannot go beyond this. Otherwise, people will think bad of me. Even if this is not conscious, is there unconsciously in, I would say, 99% of the dancers I've met around the world, professionals and amateurs. So it's a big thing. It is not a minority. It is not a detail. It's a big thing because when you set limits, to how far you will go with your pleasure, you also set limits to how far you will go in your creativity and in the freedom to express yourself. So there is here a, a clear invitation, not only to be free enough to be yourself while you dance and in your life, hopefully, but also not to set limits to how much enjoyment you can allow yourself to have while you're dancing. Joy is not a sin. Yeah? Pleasure is not a sin. Stealing maybe a scene, harming others, gossiping, you know, being evil, uh, speaking and doing evil against oneself for others, that's, that's probably a scene. But enjoying yourself never killed anyone, it never harmed anyone. So it's very important that we clean our heads and we reset our values and somehow re-educate ourselves. This is why Egyptian dance, when properly taught, can be so powerful because it can change your life, literally. It can change your set of values, the way you see yourself, the way you see uh, other people, the way you see life. So understanding that pleasure, it's not a problem, okay? And being allowed, allowing yourself, yeah? It's not being allowed. Nobody allows you. You allow yourself to enjoy the pleasure, starting with the physical while you're dancing. This is central to not only baladi but all Egyptian uh, dance. Last but not least, uh, there is an aspect about freedom in baladi and in Egyptian dance in general that has to do with not caring too much about what others think of you. So this is also related with the first topic, being your full self. If you are your full self, some people will like you, some people will not. Other people's opinions should always be secondary to your own opinion about yourself because you're the one who's living your life you're the one who's using the time you have left on this earth 
in this existence. You're the one doing your dance. Nobody is doing it for you. Um, nobody's responsible for you except you. So what others think of you it's, should be somehow secondary. You know, you should not um, choose your steps in your dance or in your life according to what others expect or what others want of you. They don't even know what they want for themselves, by the way. So you should not be guided by the ones who cannot guide themselves. Everybody's searching for their own light. Everybody's searching for answers. Nobody has the answers for anybody. So if you're lucky, you will have answers for yourself, not for others, right? So do not um, worry so much about what others will think of you while you're dancing. This is freedom. Be aware that being your full self, then again, will, you know, will um, bring haters and lovers. It will bring people who love you, who people, people who hate you for a reason, people who hate you for no reason, people who are indifferent, and that's fine, you know? It is not about being loved by everybody. If you're loved by everybody, you're not doing it right, okay? You're just doing a standard, expected, a formatted thing everybody else is doing. So it was established, this is the thing, and everybody's applauding everybody who's doing this thing. So if you are an original, and if you are doing Egyptian dance from its core, you will be. You will be different. You will be different because you are a different person. Nobody is you. Huh? So rest assured, you will not please everybody, but you are not here to please everybody. So freedom is also understanding that you don't have to be loved and accepted by everybody. You can do your thing. You can express yourself fully, truthfully, lovingly. And whoever loves it, loves it. And whoever is indifferent, is indifferent. And whoever doesn't like it, doesn't like it. So what, you know? If you don't like potatoes, don't eat the potatoes. Eat the carrots. I mean, who cares? Life is too short, guys. Keep this in mind. Freedom, aside from being about um, self-centeredness and in the best possible sense, you know, you expressing yourself fully. Uh, aside from being uh, an experience of fully immersing yourself in the ex in the experience, in the dance, in its different sides, the physical, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual, is also about becoming so independent, so free, and so somehow egoless that you are not dancing for others. You're dancing for yourself, first of all. Even if you are a professional, and I've been dancing professionally in the highest markets, the most demanding markets in the world, first in Cairo and then the international market. And I can tell you from my own experience that being a professional dancer in this kind of environment and actually having to receive feedback from people and, and knowing that feedback pays my bills, basically, so I'm not doing uh, Egyptian dance as a hobby. I actually live for and off Egyptian dance. Independently of all that, I can tell you from experience that dancing to please others is a, is a losing game. You have to dance to enjoy yourself, to express yourself, to expand yourself as a person and as a dancer. Your audiences, if you really know what you're doing and if you're doing it from the right place, from the heart, they will go with you on this journey and then again, some of them will relate to you, some of them will not relate to you, some of them will see themselves projected on you like a mirror and will feel bothered, you know, because a free dancer can be very discomfortable, uncomfortable, can, and can cause trouble to an audience who is not free. You know, if I see a woman on stage that is fully in herself, that is free, that is enjoying yourself, that is not afraid to feel pleasure, and I don't allow myself to do that in my life, I will probably feel bothered by this dancer without even knowing why, you know? So there is such a complex world of mirrors and projections and uh, relationships between the dancer and the audience, and none of those should define the truth, the authenticity, and the freedom of your dance. Be yourself. Enjoy the journey, enjoy the physical pleasures, the sensual pleasures, there is nothing wrong with that, and thank other people's feedback, if there is feedback, connect, communicate, but never dance to please anybody except yourself. The ones who are supposed to feel you and to be with you on this journey, they will be. The ones who are not. They will be on another journey, they will be in another road, they will look at other things, and that's fine. That's life, okay? Enjoy it, enjoy yourselves, and I will see you soon at one of our courses at Joana Saida's Online Dance School. 
or at one of the festivals around the world. I love you guys. Dance and live from your hearts. Okay? Mwah.